So as we're getting a little bit farther into um, Angular 2 and making a, a, a single page application with it, um, running into a couple of things that have tripped me up uh, along the way. And one of them is how, com how components communicate with each other. Um, probably whenever you're first learning Angular 2, you're going to learn how they can communicate with each other using their input and output um, uh, properties. So um, an easy example to show is uh, this guy here. So I have this custom um, component and I have defined a special input property called project and I can pass that um, property an object that's a project and magically this component will know what to do with it um, that once I show you you'll you'll see what I mean here so if we took take a look at that um, I've defined that custom input and assigned it to project so now this component can um, communicate with this child component by just um, sending it um, into its custom input property. Now for events, you can also do the same thing without going, which is cool. So um, we have another component called, called assignment form. And if we take a look at assignment form, you can see that we have um, a few different options. We can send it a project so it knows um, its context. Um, and this component can notify our parent component um, by uh, sending it uh, an event emitter. Basically saying, hey, I created the assignment, and here's the assignment that I created. And you can see where that's happening right there. Um, that is awesome, and you'll probably use that probably 80% of the time, 90% of the time maybe. Um, but then you'll run into a situation where, um, let's say I'm in this project item component, and I can bring that up here by creating um, a project. So this is my project item component. And we can, you know, create as many as we want. Um, but this, but each one of these has in it a, an assignment list. So you're supposed to be able to hit create assignment and saying my first assignment and oops create assignment and nothing happens if we refresh the page you can see that we actually did create the assignment now um, just ignore the fact that these all share the same assignment I haven't added the functionality of actually putting the project ID as a reference on any of these assignments. So these assignments think that every project is their parent. So uh, forgive that example. But um, what I wanted to show you was that this should really update itself. Um, I shouldn't have to refresh the page just to update it. So how can we do that? Well, can we use an input? Um, maybe, maybe we could, you know, add uh, like to this assignment list, maybe we could say like input should refresh, maybe that it, that's like a Boolean or something like that. Um, it's not really what it's supposed to be used for, I don't believe. Um, could we use events? Well, events can bubble up, but the, you can't really push them down into child components. So what can we do? Um, well, Angular has something called um, view child or view children. Um, so if we take a look at our parent component, which is project item, we can actually put view child, get access to that module, and we can create um, something new here. So we can say view child 
and view child is looking for okay what do you want me to look for and what we wanted to look for is this um, CLE assignment list so the assignment list component now um, this project item doesn't really know about um, the assignment list component so let's import it so that it knows all of its properties and everything it's at a weird location, so bear with me. It's an assignment list slash assignment list dot component. Let's see if that works. Not quite. Assignment. Assignment. List. It's always spelling with me. Assignment list component. So now we have access to it. So we can tell view child, look, f look for this. All right. So it's gonna look for that component. Now, what should it do? What can we do with it whenever it finds it? Well, we'll assign it to a new um, variable here. It's called. Uh, we will name it assignment. We'll name it assignment list component just to keep everything the same. However, I'm going to just camel case this so we know that this is. Geez. There we go. So we know that that's the variable. And this is going to be of type assignment component. Pretty easy, right? So it's a little verbose here, but. Um, or it's a little redundant, but um, uh, it's looking. So view child is going to look for a component called view list component. Um, once it finds it, it's going to put it on that variable assignment list component, and it's of type assignment list component. That way, whenever um, we do our thing down below, we'll know what methods and what um, what kinds of things that it has access to. All right. So now how do we use this? Well, we want to use it whenever the assignment is created. Basically what we want to do is whenever the assignment is created, go into the assignment list component and just tell it to update. Um, it's that simple. So let's take a look at where we want this, where we want to jump in at. We want to jump in, really we want we want to tell the assignment list component to run this code. However, it's in the ng on init, which could probably have some other stuff in it. So instead of just keeping all this in ng on init, let's create an actual method that's called get assignments. It doesn't take any arguments. It just goes out there and gets the assignments. Cool. And now from here, we'll run get assignments. So exact same thing. It's just now this is in an actual method. Cool? Cool. OK, so now that that's in an actual method, we can access that. So if we come down here, and right now what we have is whenever the assignment is creative or created, we are going to close the modal. So after that, what we're going to do is say this. And you can see that my assignment list component is here. And now we can access those methods in there. So let's do get assignments. And we'll just call it. So now, as you can see, what we've done is we're targeting that, ex that specific assignment list component and we're running this function from within our parent component, which is really cool. So let's see how that works. Let's see if it works. So what we'll expect is whenever we click this and um, add a new assignment, it should just refresh this, and it shouldn't refresh any of these. So refresh me. Hey, there we 
we go. Now if we reload the page, all of these will have that assignment. So okay, so as you can see all of them, but whenever we're interacting with this, it's only going to refresh um, it's only going to refresh the list where we that we've added or the project that we've added to. Awesome. So that's what um, view child's for. It also has view children. So if you have a bunch of components uh, that are of the same type, you'll probably want to do that. And it's basically the same thing, except instead of just assigning it to um, a variable like this, you're going to, it's actually going to be an array like that. Um, and there's also uh, content child and content children. And I'm not completely sure, so I probably shouldn't say this, but I believe what that's for is if they're not, um, if they're not components, if they're just HTML elements. I don't know. I'm not. Just don't. Don't even listen to that last part. All right. Well, I um, hope that made sense. And uh, yeah, keep building. Later.